History was made this morning in Hampton Roads when Captain Janet Days, a black woman, took command of the world's largest Navy base. It's a first. Wednesday, on the first day of Black History Month, 10 on your side introduced you to Captain Days. Regina Mobley joins us with more on the woman who is now in charge. Regina? Tom and Lena, what is now Naval Station Norfolk was built by slaves and descendants of slaves. It's been a long time coming, but a change has come. This is the day that the Lord has made. Captain Janet Days shared those words from the Book of Psalms just before taking command of Naval Station Norfolk. Many who helped her along the way traveled to Norfolk to witness history. David Larson recalled his advice from some 20 years ago. You don't need to re-enlist in the Navy, which she was shocked about. I said, because you are not doing enough for yourself. Let's get you to be an officer. Siblings spoke in memory of their father, the late George T. Hanks. Just to see his daughter, an African-American, his baby girl, um, be in a position of leadership in the military, it, it, it would, I don't know how, what dad would say, he'd probably be speechless, honestly. Captain Days takes command as the Navy, due to budget cuts, is patching parts, pieces, and protocols. Systems and spirits are broken. Since last year, nine local sailors have committed suicide. The most recent case took place days before my exclusive interview with Captain Days. We're war fighters, but it's people business, and that takes extra effort and commitment upon every single one of us engaging with our sailors, our officers, and our leaders, and understanding what their challenges are. For the base population of 76,000 people, this could be the sign of things to come and ongoing plans to right the ship. Engagement of the people piece at the levels, just because I'm the captain doesn't mean I can't go and have a conversation with my sailors, and they know that. That's how I lead. Captain Days told me she feels good about her role in American history, but she went on to say she knows deep down inside we are not there yet. There is still a lot we need to do. I have more from the new CO on wavy.com. Regina Mobley, 10 on your side.